Hello my soccer universe. After I gave you a little sampling together with my daughter of all the AFCON home jerseys and if you haven't seen that video she's rating them all here. It's time for the big deep dive where we look at all the jerseys that have been released for this year's AFCON and most of them also will be worn which is exciting and if you're a long time subscriber you know I love my African jersey. You see it in the background. I have a small uh, but a hopeful hope fine collection of African jerseys. They are among national team jerseys my favorite and doing the AFCON jersey review is always a highlight for me because not only do we get colors we get wild patterns we also get an eclectic mix of suppliers and this year is no difference. For the 24 teams we have a total of 18 different suppliers. Puma have the lion share with six then a small Portuguese brand with Lakatoni have two and the rest all single suppliers. So there's only one Nike team, there's only one Adidas team and only one um Umbro team and that makes it extra spe special and extra exciting. How do I do the review? Well I do it in three parts uh, by groups. So groups A and B in part one, C and D in part two, uh, E and F in part three. All the jerseys that you see I pull from Football Kit Archive. Again I warmly recommend if you're interested in jerseys to check this page out because it is really a Football Kit Archive and I rate all the jerseys on a scale from one being the worst to ten being the best. Also if we have looked at a particular jersey already in a previous review I will refer you to that. We'll not talk about uh, this particular jersey at big length to kind of shorten the video a teeny little bit. So I would say let's get started. And we'll start with the only Adidas team at this year's AFCON. Unfortunately a team that's already out with Algeria. Kind of a big name to be honest. And Adidas actually did something very unique uh, for Algeria. It has a little bit of a retro vibe with these three stripes here on uh, push to one side and centralized crest. But I think it looks really really nice. The only thing that one would wonder is we know that Algeria like the Fennec like on this Puma jersey and they had the Fennec all over. Well if you look closer to on the side of the Algeria crest there is a slight grey fennec footprint. So this is now what we're doing. I personally like the fennec per se on, on, on it but I guess it's okay for it to be in there. I think it's a really interesting jersey overall. Uh, jersey is much better than what Algeria put out to. I think it's a very salt sort of effort. Yes there are a few Adidas things in there but uh, like the patches behind but overall I think it's a very very solid seven star jersey and the same thing can be said for uh, for the away jersey which I think would look even better as a Nigeria jersey if you would if you think I mean there's almost a Nigerian flag in there I think both would work as a Nigeria jersey as well but they're Algeria jerseys and I said um, I get a certain retro feel I think at the 82 World Cup Algeria were wearing something that at least inspired these jerseys for that I think it's really nice I also like the golden accent um, this one is cool. I like the white one better, but since it's literally the same same design, I think uh, there, there's no point in differentiating themselves in great. Then we get to Angola, which is honestly already one of my highlight jerseys. Um, like at the 2019 AFCON, where Angola had a really nice jersey um, created by a local artist. Similar artist inspired what I like this time around that they went back to almost the uh, traditional Angola design which is kind of this uh, chest band. It's not in black and yellow as it was at the World Cup but at least we have a chest band and I really love the little patterns in there. This is Lakatoni doing something really really nice. Now I wonder if on the top you know this triangle pattern if this isn't just a tattoo too much or if it shouldn't be continued down there as well. But I have had to say it's a, it's a really really nice um, overall jersey com 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 composition that I absolutely love. I also like the Angola crest quite some. There's the antelope in there. Yes there's a soccer ball but you cannot really make it out unless you look closer. So uh, overall really nice really sweetly done jersey and you can buy that like a ton store for a very reasonable price although shipping might be a little bit hard. Uh, so I think it's 37 euros for this one. Just for that. Nine stars. It's one of my highlights. Um, the away jersey moves the band up. Which I think is not bad. Uh, it has a slightly different pattern above. And then you have uh, kind of this uh, uh, gear and the machete and the star from the Angolan flag um, on the bottom. Which I think is also a nice touch. Also quite a nice shirt. Quite a nice shirt. Uh, I, have, I have to say... 
it's just you know maybe the white <laughs> still it's it's really nice um I like the home jersey a tad, 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 tad better, but I think this, this gives a good run for its money. I'm gonna go 8 here, and then the third jersey does the same thing in yellow, which I also, I, I think the yellow look looks better than the white, although we might argue on that. It's also really nice. I really like what Lakatoni have done for Ang Angola, especially uh, having a local artist doing this. It looks very African, it looks very fresh in, in a way. Really, really like this uh, set of jerseys. They're among my favorites at this FCON. Burkina Faso, uh, take the idea that they had at the last FCON where they had a center stripe in the flag colors and now make the sash. My problem, as it was already back then, is actually twofold. I don't know where to get this jersey if I want to buy it uh, because it's a local company in Tobio uh, Sport. But also, you know, you have a green jersey and the Burkina Faso flag we know is red and with a yellow star and then green and the lower band completely vanishes out there. And also the shoulders look a little bit weird. I don't mind the side striping. I like the patterning up, up there. I like the idea with the sash. It's just the green gets completely lost and the shoulders lo look weird. So I have, have to say this is a little bit of a fail. Although, <laughs> you know, I like Burkina Faso, but for, for me this is a fail. Uh, there's just too many weird things. So I'm gonna go four stars. It looks a whole lot better in white, although I'm not sure I like white as a color. I would think that the side striping, if it was done in green, this would give a little bit of better feel to, to the jersey, but now you actually see this sash. Again, the shoulders is what really tick, ticks me off. I think if there was just a band and you kept everything white and maybe they have a red color or something like that, or a green color, would look better. So again, mm, so and so on the entire jersey, uh, but this one looks better. So I'm six-ish. I think six-ish is okay. And then we have a yellow version of this as well, which might actually be my fav favorite one because uh, it's a little bit more going on. I mean, it's literally the same as uh, again, like with Angola, yellow and white, but I think, yeah, but more than six. Is not in there. Uh, let's be frank about, about, about this. I think I really like, like the idea yeah, about its execution, especially the way that the shoulders are that just tick me off um, and don't make it for a great jersey, if I'm honest. Cameron, uh, speaking of non Gregor, I hated these jerseys. Uh, they have grown a little bit on me, and you can see in the World Cup jersey re review, I still find them quite ugly, and especially the pattern on, on there. This got a two at the World Cup uh, jersey review. I'll stick with this. Um, the white one actually with the contrast looks not so bad overall. But again, what is this? This is supposed to be... No, don't do this. Two. And then uh, the one that's really ugly is the one that with, with, with the red and green. I gave this one. Let's stick with it to scandalize everyone. Uh, the jerseys that were first rumored to be worn were even worse. So uh, <laughs> probably... I should raise them by a grade. Maybe let let let's let the home 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 jersey, the away jersey, get three stars each, and the other one get a two. But yeah, it's those are not great jerseys, to be honest. Great jerseys. Uh, last time around, Gambia did not have that great jerseys, but I have to say, Salah, a company that is not known for good-looking shirts, I have to say this time they at least gave gave it an effort, and it's another jersey that I could buy from the Salah homepage for a relatively reasonable price. I love that there's a Gambian flag going uh, across the chest where the crest is in there. Gets maybe a tiny, tiny bit lost, but that's fine. I also like the Scorpion, uh, Scorpio coming over the shoulders. Also uh, nicely in the kind of in the claws holding the Sala logo. That's cool. I like how it's streamed. Maybe the one thing is you went a little bit too wild with the overall body of the, of the shirt. But I think for a Sala shirt, they got the vibe for Africa quite well and for that reason I actually quite like it. I would give this a 7 star. I'm going back and forth whether I like the white one better than the red one. The red one has maybe the stronger look but on the white one you actually see a little bit more the flag stands out a little a little bit more. Maybe if the flag was a solid stripe but not kind of this fading stuff it would be a little a little bit better. Again, it's the same design. The flag breathes a little, a little bit more, but it's not so much in your face as the red one. So let's stick with a seven for this one too. Then Guinea switched to Puma just ahead of the AFCON. 
I got a template shirt, although I cannot just say I love the guinea kit. Red, yellow, green. It just looks glorious when they play, especially if, if, if they will play Cameroon in their uh, first uh, choice uh, kit in green, uh, red and yellow. It is just something that always gets me. The yellow, uh, the, the red, the yellow and, 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 and the green. I understand it was short term, so you don't get a specialized jersey. And I think they did quite well. They got all the country's colors in there. Red pinstripes, uh, green pinstripes on the red jer jersey trimmed in yellow. I guess it's all right, but uh, it doesn't really excite me. So I would go five here and the away jersey. Sorry, I didn't get a better pick picture than uh, this shot. Not bad. It's interesting. It's some Puma pattern. I just have the feeling I've seen this somewhere already in a, a different form. So it's kind of a template one. But again, you get kind of the country's colors in there. I just wish when they went for the striping, can they do the flag there? You know, start with red, then give me a yellow, then give me a green and do something like, like that. No, not this haphazard application of it. Other than that, uh, nothing bad. I think it's probably a slightly better jersey than the home jersey, but not more then six we also gotta be honest there mauritania ab sports um i love the, the first time they were the fcon their jerseys 2019 uh this time around yeah i mean it's a modern color it's clearly a very uh small supply in ab sports so uh you will get some sounds of fun but you know they're the sensational team of the 202 tournament so i, I don't want to talk bad i actually do enjoy this light over the shoulder pattern it has something uh tra traditional uh the bright color maybe the golden number is you know there's a, the shades are not quite matching up but um there's something there i have i say i give it six now the most famous jersey of course the one that they beat algeria in which is this white number again nothing uh, better that, that i have uses similar colors and then the country outline behind the crest which i think is also an interesting feature but overall the jersey for an africa jersey is kind of a little bit mad but then uh, again i mean this is a country in the sahara i guess we don't get all that much from from there and i really don't want to diss them too 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 much as well it's a useful shirt. I like it a little bit color. Maybe a little bit more red would, 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 would be nice. If the numbers, for instance, were in red, we see a red trim on the bottom. So I'm also gonna go. Nah, I wanna go actually five, although it's a, it, the, the jersey uh, is going down in history. And we'll end it with the big boys, the team that I'm wearing, Senegal. We already saw these at the World Cup. You can see my thoughts about that. I really love this home jersey. It was one of the best at, at, at the World Cup. It's great. You have the flag on there. You have all, all the accents. This was a nine stars and sticking with it. And probably the away jersey is also one of the better ones. Not as good as the Egypt one. Uh, but actually there is something there. The center stripe really bugs me. If that was just solid green, I think I could get fully on board with this one. I'm sticking with the seven that I gave it back then. So there we have it. Part two is in the books. Please let me know which jerseys you liked and which you didn't like in this, this video. Also, we agree and disagree with me. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon about more African shirts and more things in my soccer universe. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!